Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some self-practice exercise questions 1 to 5, self-practice 1F of chapter 1, chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers of class 6 of New Learning Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog mathgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBC, ICC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve self-practice exercise questions 1F, questions 1 to 5, self-practice 1F and chapter name is knowing our numbers and topics are estimating sum, estimating difference, estimating product and estimating questions. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 4. Estimate the quotient first with A. 123 divided by 8. First we have to round up, round up this number 123 to the nearest 100. That is 123. In, when we rounded up any number to the nearest 100, first look at the tenth place digit. The tenth place digit is 2. 2 is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the 100 place digit. Just write down replace digit as it is and just put and write down 0 in the tens place digit that is 2 changes to 0 and this unit place digit 3 changes to 0. Now this 123 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 100. Now this 8, 8 uh, rounded up to the nearest 10. When we rounded up to the nearest 10, just look at the unit place digit. Here unit place digit is 8. 8 can be written as 0 and 8. Here unit place digit is 8 which is less which is more than 5. So add 1 to the tens place digit. Here tens place digit is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So 0 changes to 1. And this unit place digit 8 changes to 0. So 8 rounded up to the nearest 10 will be this 0 changes to 1 that is 1. And this 8 changes to 0, that is 0, 1 and 0. So this is 10. So 8 rounded to, uh, rounded up to the nearest 10 is 10. Now 123 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 100. And 8 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 10. Now divide. 100 divided by 10. And 100 divided by 10 is 10. So our answer is 10. So estimating the quotient of 123 divided by 8 is 10. So 10 is our answer. Now question number second bit B. 157 round divided by 19. First we rounded up this number 157 to the nearest 100. In 157 when we rounded up any number to the nearest 100. First look at the tens place digit. Your tens place digit is 5. 5 is 5 equal to 5. So add 1 to the 100 place digit. Here 1, 100 plus digit 1 changes to 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And this tens place digit 5 changes to 0. And 7 changes to 0. Now this 157 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be 200. 200. Now 19, we, we have to round up this number to the nearest 10. When we round up any number to the nearest 10, just look at the nine uh, unit place digit. Here unit place digit is 9 and 9 is more than 5. So add 1 to the tens place digit. Here tens place digit is 1. 1 changes to 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And this 9, unit place digit 9 changes to 0. So 19. Rounded up to the nearest 10 will be 20. This 2 and 0. 20. Now 157 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 200. Division of 19 changes to near 19 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 20. And 200 divided by 10, 20 is 10. 10 is our answer. So estimating the quotient of 157 divided by 19 is 10. 10 is our answer. 
Now question number 4 bit C. 958 divided by 49. First we have to round it up this number 958 to the nearest 100. When we round it up any number to the nearest 100, first look at the tenth place digit. The tenth place digit is 5. 5 is equal to 5. So just add 1 to the 100 place digit. Here 100 place digit is 9. So 9 changes to 9 plus 1. And 9 plus 1 is 10. Now this tenth place digit 5 changes to 0. And this 8 changes to unit place digit 8 changes to 0. Now this 958 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be this 10, 0 and 0. So this is 1000. So 958 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 1000. Now 49. We have to round it up this number 49 to the nearest 10. When we round it up any number to the nearest 10, first look at the 10. Unit plus digit. Here unit plus digit is 9. And 9 is more than 5. So add 1 to the tens place digit. So tens place digit is 4. So 4 changes to 4 plus 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. And this 9, unit place digit 9 changes to 0. 9. So 49 rounded up to the nearest 10 will be 50. Now 958 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 1000. And 49 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 50. Now divide. 958 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 1000. 1000 division of 50. And 1000 division of 50 is 20. And 20 is our answer. So estimating the quotient 958 division of 49 is 20. Now question number D bit 7982 division of 1728. First we rounded up this number 7982 to the nearest 1000. When we rounded up any number to the nearest 1000, first look at the 100 plus digit. Here 100 plus digit is 9. 9 is more than 5. So just add 1 to the 1000 plus digit. Here 1000 plus digit is 7. So 7 changes to 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Now this 100 plus digit 9 changes to 0. 10 plus digit 8 changes to 0. And this unit plus digit 2 changes to 0. Now 7982 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 8000. Now 1728. We have to round up this number to the nearest 1000. Here, uh, 100 plus digit is 7 and 7 is more than 5. So, uh, so just add 1 to the 1000 plus digit. Here, 1000 plus digit is 1. So, 1 changes to 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And this 100 plus digit 7 changes to 0. And unit 10 plus digit 2 changes to 0. And this unit plus digit 8 changes to 0. Now, this 1728 rounded up to the nearest Thousand is two thousand. Now uh, divide eight thousand division of two thousand and eight thousand division of two thousand is forty and forty is our answer. So estimating the quotient seven thousand nine hundred eighty two division of one thousand seven hundred. 28 is 40. 40 is our answer. Now question number 5th bit is 17869 divided by 8759. First we have to round it off this number 17869 to the nearest 10,000. If we round up any number to the 10,000, first look at the 7,000 plus digit. So, 1,000 plus digit is 7. 7 is more than 5. And this, so we have to add 1, uh, 10,000 plus digit 1 with 1. So, now this 10,000 plus digit 1 changes to 2. And this 1,000 plus digit, 100 plus digit, 
tens place digit and unit place digit changes to zero. So this seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine rounded up to the nearest ten thousand is twenty thousand. And now eight thousand seven hundred fifty nine rounded up to the nearest thousand. Here hundred place digit is seven. Seven is more than five. So add one to the thousand plus digit. So thousand plus digit is eight. So eight changes to eight plus one. Eight plus one is nine. And uh, this seven hundred plus digit seven changes to zero. Ten plus digit five changes to zero. And this ten uh, unit plus digit nine changes to zero. Now this eight thousand seven hundred fifty nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is nine thousand. If we divide twenty thousand with nine thousand, it is impossible. So we have to uh, we have to rounded up this number seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine to the nearest thousand, not ten thousand. So this now this. Uh, when we rounded off any number to the thousand plus digit, look at the hundred plus digit. Here, hundred plus digit is eight. Now you uh, now you understood how why I have not applied this seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine to the nearest ten thousand because this is impossible to uh, to divide twenty thousand with nine thousand. Uh, seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine rounded off to the nearest ten thousand is twenty thousand, and this. Eight thousand seven hundred fifty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is nine thousand. But twenty thousand division of nine thousand is impossible. So we have to round up this number seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty-nine to the nearest thousand, not ten thousand. This is only the reason. So seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty-nine here hundred plus digit is eight, and eight is more than five. So we have to add one to the thousand plus digit. Here thousand plus digit seventeen plus one is eighteen, and this eight changes to zero, six changes to zero, nine changes to zero. Now this seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is eighteen thousand. This eighteen. Zero 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 eighteen thousand. Now divide eighteen thousand division of nine thousand. Is two. So two is our answer. So estimating the quotient seventeen thousand eight hundred sixty nine. Division of eight thousand seven hundred fifty nine is two. Two is our answer.
if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you